Ada enam. So what you have here is the pepper crayfish that you have, that I'm grinding now. Come and see what it is. You don't have to cry, okay? This is for cooking, making food, okay? He's shaking. He got to get used to all these things. So when you are doing this kind of blending something, let somebody carry him, be close, and he gets used to all this. You don't have to be close to get used to it. It hurts my ears, so I'm pretty sure it hurts his ears too. I don't want him to be deaf. I don't know about deaf, all these things you are saying. Don't worry. Yeah, there is nothing like bad ear. Yeah, he cannot. He's, he's not in our blood. Blood never lies. The, um, the water from the meat. Beef and mixed meat, you know. So you allow this to go for some time. Right, this is a process. You can now put this grinded crayfish. So this is okra. How many okra? And this finish. This is called obono. What? Obono. Obono? Yeah. What is it? For draw soup. You use this for draw soup. So basically what I'm doing today is that I'm using a little bit of this with the okra. You get this from an African store? Yeah. Obono? So now I'm trying to put the meat. What meat is that? Cow tendon. You put it in the soup, probably? Yeah. This one is uh, fish. Mackerel fish. Mackerel. Yeah. So this one is a beef. Are they all going in the soup? I'll just take the quantity that I want then turn the rest to the food. Cow tail. Tail? Yeah. Cow. Oxtail? Oxtail, yeah. Oh. So you cook them before already, right? Yeah, you, you already prepared. I boil them and dry them in the oven, mm. like baking it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here. Yeah. So I'm adding the meat now for them to boil together. So this is the tender. I got it out from the face, that's why it's not like that way. <laughs> Saba. Mm -hmm. That's the best fish I ate in Japan. That's my favorite. In Saba? Japan. Yeah. How did you eat it? Your mom always prepared it. Wait, what? Your mom always prepared it for me because she you know that I love My it. mom? Yeah. Always prepared fish? Saba for me. And she's never prepared a fish in my life. What are you telling me? What? For me. Except for me. Yeah, I know. I'm saying for me. She never done it. Because you guys don't like it. But it's not because of that. I never even tried Saba at home. So I didn't know if I liked it or not. Saba is my favorite when I was in Japan. So she knows. Get that ready before I go for a long back. <laughs> So you will allow these ones to boil mm -hmm. and separate themselves then before you put the beef. Mm. Since I'm using this big pot, is that I want to make a, a lot of soup, so I put it in the freeze. Because this is not something you do every day. Right. You know, cutting the okra itself is a very big job. Yesterday, I got to cut it and get it ready. As I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. I know. Because I don't like mess. Whatever I use, I wash it out immediately. I don't like piling it up before I do it. What I will do with this okra now, put this oven. Use red oil, which is palm oil. The same thing? Some people call it red oil, but it's palm. It comes from the palm tree. Mm. 
you know, keeping this video will teach me how to make it too. Whatever way that is easy for you, so this will be big. You move so fast. You know, my, my stuff is that I do things very fast. These are all going in the soup? Yeah, because I'm making big soup. Okay. It's not something for one day. You make it, put it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So it's still fresh, whatever you bring it up. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Once you add the okra, mm. You gotta take off the light because you don't want the okra to overcook. So mm -hmm. you want it fresh. I've been planning that I will get smaller freezer and put by the side here. Once this get hot, then I add the hot on there uh -huh. and turn it. I'll get it ready because it's going to go into the big pot. So here, I might still add more water on this. Depends, but the fact that you don't want it to be too watery. Uh -huh. You know, I've got this ready. Even a day before, I just, whenever I boil meat, I put it in the freezer so it'll be ready. Whenever I want to cook, it makes it easier for me. Mm -hmm. You clean as you go. Uh -huh. boom, 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 boom. People always say there's too much meat, whatever that I cook. You're the one saying it, right? You and if he always Maybe. no if he doesn't complain because if he loves me too more than anything. Right? You see? Yeah. So now you just turn it. You lower the light. This it draws like in Japanese natto. Natto. Yeah. Really? That's, yeah, that's how it draws. This one seed is like uh, you see, it's a little bit like this, so they will break the the, the inner part of it. They will put it on the, on the sun for a long time, so it will dry. Yeah. Some people cultivate that, but it's a tree. Oh. This falls out from a tree most of the time. See, I haven't added any salt on this, right? Uh -huh. Why I haven't added salt on it is that when I boil the meat, I added salt boiling it. So I will leave everything to boil together. Mm -hmm. Then you will test it and know the quantity of salt already on it mm -hmm. before you add, because if you add, you might get it messed up. Yeah. So now, just put in Maggie. Whoa, da, 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 da. Two, two of this and uh, two of this. And this has chicken flavor. But this ordinary maggi. And you know sometimes I mix chicken in my soup, but uh, unfortunately I don't have chicken today. I don't need salt on it. It's salty so enough. Mm -hmm. This soup is almost done. Mm. And once I put the okra mm -hmm. and this, I'll take off the light. So the heat from the pot will mm. kind of warm up the okra. You don't want the okra to overdone. Mm. So it will be fresh. I have to lower the light. I'm adding the okra now. Some people don't use this quantity of okra, but I love okra, so that's why I, I put a lot on it. Some people will put half of this. Not my best soup, but I love it. What's your best soup? 
My recipe is bitterly, which is in Africa, you call it onubu soup. Onubu soup. Onubu? Yeah. I know you must have ate that when you went to Nigeria. That's a lot of greens. Yeah, I put a lot. Now you see it, the way it draws. Yeah, it looks good. Right here, once you turn it like this, you can take off the light. So the soup is done. Where did I put this? With the... On top of the juice. You forgot where you brought it out the other day. Yeah. It's good. This is so good. this is best soup. She loves our crust so much. Ify? Yeah. My sister Ify? Yeah. I didn't know that. Ify loves her crust. I think I, are you sure? I think it's me. I said okra, Ify likes her crust. Are you sure? Ask her. I don't think so. I think it's me. Ask her. Test her. She will tell you. The okra is fresh, right? So you better than you be cooking it for your husband. I don't know if you will eat that. If we he will eat up, right? Yeah, I don't know. Since we are done, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm making to sleep. Yeah. Mama. <laughs> Shoe boy. No, 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 no. I got to sleep. Do you have anything to say? Oh, nothing? I got nothing to say. We are done cooking. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. We'll come back with that, another cooking video at some point. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Maybe next time we cook a melon soup. Melon soup? Yeah. In a Nigerian language, you call it a goosey soup. Oh, okay, I know that. Mm -hmm. So a goosey soup, that's melon soup. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can get you off my mind. Ooh, girl. You have this in powder form, mm -hmm. but if it's in Nigeria, you get the real yam. When you get the real yam, they pound it with uh, powder, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. They will boil the yam and pound it, but because we're outside Nigeria, we don't have those time to do all those things. So mm -hmm. that's why this uh, grinded one dried and so on. It's, it's, uh, you see the way it's turning out to be? Yeah. So even if you get the fresh one, at, uh, yam, boil the yam and pound it, it comes out the same way. So, a lot of people will just start eating it like this. Mm -hmm. But on my own case, I like to add water, boil it to make sure that it's fully cooked. cooked. Mm. So I will put water now, cover it, it will boil for some time. Mm. Then I take out the water and turn it again. But some people will just do it like this. They say it's okay because this is powder, but I don't believe in that. I like it to make sure that it's well cooked. Mm -hmm. So what I do, this way, so I'll leave it to boil. When I went to Japan for the first time, if I met your mom, we Nigerians, we didn't see where to buy this. Mm. In replacement of this, mm. there's this uh, flour that they use for baking. We buy flour, then uh, use flour in placement of this, we will mm. do it like this. Mm. Then we didn't see where we would buy African ingredients and so on mm. when we want to make soup. Mm. The only thing we can make is a stew. So when we make the stew, in order to look, make it look like soup, mm. for us to use it to eat those uh, flour, mm. we will get raw egg, you know, put inside the stew, put more vegetable on it, mm. turn it so it will be like soup. 
mm. because the only thing we can see in Japan is rice, rice. Mm. So in order to change what we are eating, we have no choice than to do it like that. Mm. Then after some times, you know, we, that's when we started, you know, people started opening African store, mm. bringing in food stuff from Nigeria and so on. But at the first time, it wasn't easy for us. Mm. Like the rice, we, you know, because the Japanese rice, then due to the government, most of us didn't like it. So what mm. we do, like someone like me, I have friends in the beds. So mm. they buy me Uncle Ben's rice from the beds, mm -hmm. you know. So it was, you know, that time, there, there's no, uh, Nigerian wasn't a lot, you know, in mm. Japan. Mm. In order to survive, we can use anything to make soup or whatever. Mm. Then we're not used to Japanese food mm. or whatever. It takes us time for us to start getting... Somebody like me, I think I started eating Japanese food when I got married to your mom, you know, that's how mm. when she introduced me. Mm. Two or three years in Japan before I met your mom. So now, what I'm going to do is to take out the water, but I'm not going to take out all the water. So, so you see, I didn't take out all the whole water. I remain a little water yeah. there, so then use this water to turn it. So we are done. Ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. Do you like omoti? Yeah. Because it's similar, right? It's similar like omoti. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll eat. So you can get your soup and want the soup you want. Yes. Yeah.